Hey viewers, uh, these are my heavy duty batteries. They're not lithium, they're lead acid. And uh, here's the unit running on uh, battery power. That's the red lightning bolt there. So we go in there and have a look. Uh, what do we got there? 45.6 volts on the battery. We've got 242 on the grid, but we're not using grid power at the moment. See the little line there going from the little arrow pointing from the battery to the inverter. So we're running on battery power at the moment. It's about quarter past nine at night. And uh, got the battery isolator box. That's for the second bank of batteries. And got the solar in inverter, uh, sorry, solar array isolator there. The inverter isolator and the output isolator are in the switchboard next door. So we've got several isolators and current protection devices. And it's all running very good. Very, very happy with this. It's a power mister, uh, 6200 watt. I don't think I've had it up past 3 kilowatts yet. So... Um, it's running nicely. Obviously, I've got to put a bit, <laughs> a bit of ventilation in this uh, steel cabinet that I've mounted it all in. Yeah, very flimsy, weak cabinet, but I suppose it'll keep all the bugs and that out of it. I might put a, a fan in there. I think I'll need a fan for the summer. I won't need it in the winter, but yeah, pretty happy. Uh, very simple install, and the unit's working quite well. So, I don't think I'll have any problems with this. It's 10.48, we're running on batteries, battery voltage is 45.6, just over 200 watts, completely on batteries, this is uh, pretty good. Take a bit of solar power in the day and store it in the batteries and use it at night pretty simple really quite effective just get your house energy efficient I'm a bit disappointed in the solar panels that have been installed and uh, I will do a separate video on that terrible job uh, they did everything you shouldn't do putting in a solar panel installation yeah, and cowboys anyway we'll do a video on that later so far the inverter is running beautifully uh, it's a power mister uh, 6200 watt uh, we'll go through some of these things here again Five percent capacity and it's twenty eight degrees and it says twenty four. I think twenty eight's the heat sink temperature. But yeah, forty five point six volts on the batteries, so they're holding up quite well. Um that there I found it out what that is, that's the CPU uh, like the software hardware code that'll, that'll rate, uh, relate to a specific batch of inverters but, uh, we're going to put it in a cabinet um, we've decided we're happy with the performance so we'll put all the isolators and everything in a, a secure cabinet I uh, won't be putting the batteries in that cabinet, uh, they're getting their own separate treatment because uh, I've, I want room for a microcontroller, the DC isolator, the AC isolator, the inverter output isolator, I want them all in this one cabinet and they'll all be labelled so you know there'll be instructions on how to shut it down and how to start it up properly so you don't damage anything if you improperly shut a DC system down you will cause damage and it can be catastrophic so I've seen it <laughs> I've seen um, oh, 
lots of metal melted and violent explosions and yeah some silly people out there didn't take the right uh, procedures and shorted out some uh, big copper on thick steel and it blew up and blew holes and everything no anyway um, that won't happen here we're just looking at the inverter that's the display got so many things you can program on this like uh, supply priorities and battery levels you know cut out and um, cut in levels and float voltages and charge rates it, it's fully programmable very impressed with um, the build quality and the so far the running of it and it's it feels cold it I know there's no load on it but even uh, with a few kilowatts on it, it, it runs quite nice. So, yeah, all that will be going into a cabinet and um, see how we go. Uh, here we are, it's uh, just after 8am and we're producing over one kilowatt of power. And I'll just get that back. There we go. 1093 watts at the moment sunny day a couple of clouds in the sky but uh, we're charging the battery at 16 amps and uh, 1100 watts there you go about quarter past eight in the morning and uh, very happy with the new solar panels they're facing the right direction <laughs> unlike the other ones which uh, well they won't even they won't even work till about 11 o'clock 10.30, 11 in the morning, so yeah, this one's uh, just climbing up as you see, slowly there, a little bit more, a little bit more, we'll do a few uh, a few more takes during the day, see how we go. Uh, it's got a little bit cloudy, um, panels are only generating 278 watts, 275, as you see it's changing there. We're drawing 2 amps out of the battery, plus the 279 or 270 odd watts from the solar panels. Oh, it's gone down to 160 something. And you got some thick clouds, it's sort of very cloudy at the moment. We're drawing 400 and, well, around 400 watts we're drawing, so it's taking whatever the solar panels are putting out and a combination of battery power to give us that 400 odd watts. So that, that's what I like about this particular unit. Um, it is a true hybrid it takes what power it can get from wherever um, for example if it was night time and we had no solar input and the batteries were flat uh, it will seamlessly switch over to grid power so that's what I like about this particular unit <laughs> 